Hey guys, Wells Knight here, bringing you a brand new season of my Minecraft 1.8 single player survival series. And in this episode, we are starting over in a brand new world. As you can see, this is an amplified world with amplified biomes. This is going to present a nice challenge. And as I said, we are starting fresh. And there's a few reasons that I'm doing this. Um, first and foremost, a lot of it has to do with the first season of the 1.8 single player survival series. Um, when I first started that series, I really didn't know what I was doing when it came to audio quality and video editing and things like that. And I have learned quite a lot since then. And my videos now are much higher quality than they were back then. And I wanted to provide a new, better starting point for people who are just uh, becoming familiar with my channel, shall we say. So I'm starting over. I was also looking for a way to kind of pre present myself with a new challenge. I was getting, I don't want to say I was getting tired of the other world, but I wanted to kind of mix it up and do something a little bit different. And of all the various Minecraft stuff that I do, none of it is in an amplified world. And I thought that would be really kind of cool. I have a lot of cool ideas here for how I can work with the landscape and all that kind of stuff. So this is what I want to be doing. I wanted to present a new starting point. I kind of just wanted to start fresh and uh, here we are. So the seed for this world is just Wells Knight Gaming. I will have a link to the seed uh, in the video description so you can see how it's spelled. It's all one word, Wells Knight Gaming, and it should work just fine. Um, but the old world is no more. The Wells Knight seed has served its purpose, its time has passed, and it is now time to start something new and fresh. And I'm really kind of excited about that, honestly. So, as with any new survival world, we need to make ourselves some tools and whatnot. So that is what we're going to be doing. The wonderful thing here is that we do have a lot of stone just readily available, which is good. So we're going to be taking advantage of that Ow! And uh, one thing that I will need to do here, I do have a few goals for things that I want to accomplish as quickly as possible. Not the least of which is get myself a pair of feather falling boots. I think that is going to be absolutely essential because... I mean, it's an amplified world. If any of you guys have been watching my content for a while, you will know that parkour is really not my strong point, and uh, I'm going to fall. It's going to happen. It's probably going to happen quite often, so I need to get myself some feather falling boots as soon as possible to protect myself from all the falling that is inevitably going to happen. Um, I don't need two pickaxes. What am I doing? So let's get ourselves some basic starter tools here. And that is a good start. Now, I am going to want my crafting table. We'll just kind of put that over there for the time being. And now let's see if we can find ourselves some food. It's so weird not having a diamond sword. Oh, man. Now, the other thing is I did, uh, or the other thing that I did is I did check out the uh, world just for a couple minutes. Um, I didn't fully explore it or anything like that, but I just wanted to make sure that the seed wasn't total garbage. So I did check out the world, and I know that somewhere around here, we have all of the basic types of wood. We have dark oak, we have spruce, we have obviously oak and birch as well. So that is a good thing. There's also a swamp around here, which is very cool. Um, I'll probably be doing, since that is right there and easy to find, I'll probably be doing some cool things with uh, piston doors and secret entrances and stuff like that in this series. I need to actually find the, the swamp and the dark oak biome because I don't know where they are. As I said, I didn't examine the world in depth. I still want to be able to explore and find stuff because otherwise that kind of takes some of the fun out of it. But I also wanted to make sure that the seed wasn't just going to extremely limit the things that I'd be able to do because this is a survival world and 
that is a long way down. Let's see if we can do this in little little chunks. That's ooh, and there's a witch's hut over there. Maybe we can uh maybe we can just kind of steal the witch's hut. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh. Okay, I think we're I think we're okay. I think we Oh man, this this world is going to present a challenge for sure. Definitely need to get some of those feather falling boots. Wow. All right. So, we'll get ourselves a little bit of coal here. Looks like there's a little bit right over here as well. Ooh, and some iron right away. Good, good, good. I'll have to get that too. But I think the plan for now is to get ourselves just a simple little shelter. Nothing super fancy. I think I'm just going to I'm just going to start out with a little hidey hole on this one. Last time I started out with a day one shelter, but what I want to do here rather than build a house uh, is I want to kind of make use of the landscape and I kind of want to make an extensive system of tunnels and towers and castles and things like that in this world uh, which all kind of goes with the amplified landscape I think that will be pretty cool so that's what the plan is that's that's definitely what the plan is gonna be oh I see sheep we need the wool so we can make a bed. Let's... Come here, sheep. I also really like the fact that in 1.8, sheep drop mutton. It makes my food searching a little easier. I just need one more sheep. Come on. Tell me there's one more sheep around here somewhere. Hmm. Not seeing any. But I really do need some food. I'm looking. One more sheep. Sheep, where are you? The amplified world is also going to present a, a problem as far as gathering animals goes, too. Probably have to make tunnels for them to come through rather than try and lead them up and down the... Uh... Whoa. Holy lag. Why is this lagging so bad? That's not good. Okay, so there we go. We've got ourselves our three pieces of wool. We've got ourselves a little bit of mutton. I suppose we should, we can probably kill a few more sheep just to get a little bit more mutton is what I'm thinking. And I think that will be our primary food source at least at least for the time being until we get a chance to make some new stuff. Got that over there. We've got coal. I think we have pretty much everything we need to make our little hidey hole that we're going to start with. So let's come on up here. And I suppose we should probably make ourselves a door in a minute as well. Also, you may notice I have gotten rid of the smooth chocolate texture pack. I do like it. It is a good texture pack, but I think I wanted to go back to default. I was kind of missing the look of default Minecraft. And unlike some people, I really don't hate the look of default Minecraft. It's kind of, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Not really nostalgic, per se, but it's it's something that I like, and it just kind of, it just seems right. It It's very... I don't really know how to explain it, but basically it's just something that I like, and I think it fits Minecraft as a whole very well. This, I think, will be a decent place. I just, that is a creeper. Let's not go over there right now, considering we have literally no armor whatsoever. Hmm. Where do we want to set up shop? I know it's going to be getting dark here pretty quick. So... Definitely going to be wanting to find somewhere, maybe up there. Maybe we'll we'll kind of work our way up there for the time being. The other hard part is going to be making sure that I don't get lost, because I am so bad with directions. It's it's really kind of terrible. Um, can we make it up here? Is it possible? I. Th I think, I think I can, oh, that, that, that was falling. See, guys, I told you I was going to fall. Oh, and my, my hunger is 
almost gone entirely. And that is problematic. Because I don't really have anything to eat. Um, at least not cooked yet. I really kind of wanted to get into my hidey hole before I, uh, before I eat stuff. Maybe we can get up this way. This looks promising. Yep, taking the hunger damage. Oh, come on. Jump. Let's clear that out. There we go. And I am only on normal difficulty. I might actually bump that up to hard. Maybe I'll bump that up to hard in a little bit. But, for the moment I'm on normal, so I'm not going to die. There, this looks like a good spot for a hidey hole. Let's just come right in here. And let's clear ourselves out a little area. And then we can make use of this for all of our storage and whatnot. This will be our little temporary base of operations. That is what I'm thinking. It won't be anything fancy, but it will get the job done. So we'll put that there. Definitely want to make ourselves a furnace. We'll throw that in there with that. And then we will make ourselves oh, a bed. Because we're going to need that soon, I'm sure. And let's make ourselves a door. And probably some torches. Let's just make ourselves like 32. Hey, hey, I didn't want to drop that. Come back. And we'll just put those there. We'll come out here and put a torch here and a torch here and maybe a torch here just to kind of light that up so we can see it from a distance. And I think that will be a pretty good start. Let's eat this up as well. Get some of this hunger restored because I am... I'm I'm hurting right now, to say the least. Whew. All right. Well, guys, I think that is a great start to this episode. Let me know what you think about the new series. Let me know if you're excited for this. I'm definitely excited for this. Starting over kind of has a... just It's just kind of a nice feeling to start over, start fresh. Let me know if you're excited to join on this adventure with me, guys. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I really do appreciate it. And it really, really helps out my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time. <laughs>